Down you go, oh bright sun. Time to let the night in. For my legs are heavy, and feel is not inviting. Her legs become too heavy, hands become too weary. Down you go, oh bright sun. is departing. Yes, they're on the way. What's the plan for the second flight? The same place? That would work best. Certain, proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll send the lander right away. the top. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Kovel and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... I... I don't see anything like it now, sir. down the parameters. Azimus 350. Distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Wow. the bushes and the doctor um, hard to tell visibility is poor huh. it's gonna be harder than before I don't know how the doctor <sighs> but when it comes to finding a safe route there won't be a problem but you'll have to get there on your own two feet I suppose a probe will carry out the first task it's capable yes of course 
I said the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Elga, lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. He could have fly for this long. Yes, longer than you can stand on your feet. <sighs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man. Often faulty. serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. Uh, no, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us? Proteinaceous creatures developing so quickly, sir. No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Maybe they can be improved rapidly, but these are only selected modules, algorithms. There's still a long way to go to develop an artificial brain that would even slightly reflect the complexity of the human one. Yes, we probably won't live to see that. Probably not. Besides, no intelligent machine would take this job. Shh, Astrogator, can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. Bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use the language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations.
a high, more or less, from one to several meters. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. Uh, so we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Please continue your search. We have to find him. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. The dust has already settled. Oh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. I'm inside. And? How is it? Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Astrogator, I think... I don't know what we expected. Coming here at the end of our expedition. The equipment is barely working. 
if it works at all. And you, sir. You barely escaped alive. Okay, I admit that we have a very successful campaign behind us, but I feel like we've used up all our luck. And now, we're asking for trouble. It's just one planet too many for us. Which doesn't change the fact we're here. Let's focus on completing this mission. There won't be another. Where does this certainty come from, Astrogator? HQ can send us as many directives as they please, justified or not. I won't let that happen. We have the Imprimis Homini law to refer to. The Commonwealth cannot achieve its goals at the expense of the people. At the expense of my crew. But... Isn't that exactly what's happening? The situation is bad, Astrogator. Though it wasn't much better at the beginning of the mission. Whoever sent us here didn't care about our safety at all. Enough! Please don't put me in an even more difficult position. Rejecting a new mission and questioning the validity of the current one are two different issues. And you're one step away from disciplinary action, Doctor. Copy that. Over and out. an object in sight. Where they searched the ocean's biocenosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Just need to find the right route.
Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. What's going on, sir? Astrogator? Dr. Yasna. I tried to resuscitate him, but... No. No, please. Koval? Dr. Crowther. How? There was nothing wrong with him. Hypervolemic shock. He bled out during the flight. I still don't understand. No. He wasn't hurt. His injuries must have occurred later. I found him like this when I entered Hopper. I can't believe it. It was that damn robot. He must have dropped the doctor. Killed him! No, yes, now I, as commander, misjudged the situation. Everything indicates that the doctor had an accident after he left the camp on his own. I should have known he was endangering himself. I confirm Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> but why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one thing, sir. What did you do with Crowther's body? I placed him in a quiet chamber. Are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I Considering that as a possibility, what is your opinion? Should we look into their heads? I have a feeling that would be inappropriate. We need to test everyone. We're looking into a dead mind. Just that report. What's 
sec. How about the end of the rope? Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? the last thing I need. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm hanging with my full weight on the rope, away from the wall. Oh, I can't go up. Nothing to grab onto. No, it won't do much good. Uh, there's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Do you have a better idea? I, I can just jump off. Is that safe? I think it is. You think? You shouldn't base your safety on assumptions. I am well aware of the risks. Back and rib injuries. Possible, though less likely, damage to organs within the chest. Swelling around the joints and subcutaneous hematomas. That's for sure. But my professional opinion is I'll make it through. Can't say you've reassured me. But I applaud your composure, Doctor. I'm thinking... If Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything... Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. Okay, this is a waste of time. You only die once. Here we go. What's happening? Did you fall? <sighs> ah, I jumped. <laughs> oh, status, please. Can you walk? Yes. No fractures. Please stop for a moment. Make sure you're all right. Uh, no, there's no need for a delay. Dr. Gorski is waiting. We had our last contact with Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Need to glass cracked. I wouldn't worry. What matters is that you're fine. <sighs> anyway. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going, despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself, Gorski. He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he might have gotten lost in these structures. They're like a maze. Well, they shouldn't have if he was setting up flags. He must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. <sighs> Left or right?
All right. I'll try to walk this kind of bridge. remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Clouter, however, warned that the methane content... I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. Are they still everywhere? Yep. Wherever I look, there's metal. to get out. sound like a broken record, but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on Earth, so there should be similarities on land as well. Similarities? Life, Astrogator. I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis Three. Yes, sir. The sinkhole? Uh-huh.
Hey! These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. Do you have any idea where all this could have come from? I'm aware without tests you can't do much. But let's say on first inspection. If metamorphism and other natural factors are to be excluded, there is only one conclusion. Someone or something must have put them here. But who? The Alliance. Because you don't need to say... Oh, I do. I suspect the surface of Regis Three was once inhabited. I found some abandoned items. What items? What do you have there, Yasna? A telemeter and opened food rations. So we couldn't have gone far. Why would he leave his equipment behind? Well, maybe he planned to come back soon. I can see the relay up close. It looks broken. At least his device is in working order. The telemeter? Oh, right. Yours is broken. I think I'll borrow it. Go ahead, Doctor. It's issued equipment, so I wouldn't even call it borrowing. Actually, it's fine. I'm already used to the cracked one.
There are more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find him, Doctor. sound mind would decide to go down this way and yet I found something again that was... uh, more of the same stuff Gorski's things more traces fine actions devoid of logic back from the camp you reported Marit's abandoned things a backpack and a journal yes this scene looks disturbingly similar. A visual? Not yet. Gorski, are you here? It's me, Yasna. Still nothing? Yeah. found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. The tank is empty. It doesn't matter where he is now. Let's focus on the doctor. He is. I see him. I can't squeeze through here. <sighs> Doctor, answer me, please. Huh? He's not 
moving. Gorski! Gorski! Look at me! His eyes are closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did you react in any way? Saturation is within the lower range. Risk of tissue hypoxia. Are the reactions? Gorski! Come on! Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe's already looking for a landing site. <sighs> okay. Let me just... Pulling him out. <sighs> Done. He's out. <sighs> I activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? No, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hoffman can land in this maze. Have a preliminary scan of your surroundings. There's an open area near enough to move Gorski there. The probe will guide you. But he's not stable. I must share my oxygen with him, Astrogator. You'd need a spare for that. The protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time. In that case, I'll give him my tank. Next time. I won't allow it, Yasna. If you're afraid, the doctor won't carry you. The membrane looks intact. What did you tell me? Hold on, Gorski. You are still not being done. Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. Are you out in the open already? Sort of. Yes. Once you set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal.
range saturation almost within the range. Now, mark the place for the lander, and we're home, Doctor. I'm on it. Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. of water, probably unsafe for consumption. I'd rather not risk it. Meteoric waters. <clears throat> no, too deep. Let's hope it's not fossil. Otherwise, I'll never reach the surface. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. At least I got flat. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> Shit.
can't. I'm pretty much fucked. That's my considered opinion. Fucked. To me. It's good to see you again, Yasta. Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. We need to get out of here now. Hey, not so fast. I have some questions. Later, Yasta. Now, go to your left. It should be easier from there. Good one. I'm not going anywhere until you explain how you found me. 